Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Rosa and I have titled this reading The Outcome of This Connection. This is going to be a general love read and it is specific to all water signs. Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. If you are any of those signs, this reading is for you. Um, cross watchers are welcome as well, of course. But if you're coming into this read and you've got a special bond or a special connection with someone and it's not really established or maybe you've, maybe it was established and you've separated, you, you, wherever you're at, in this connection, you want to know what the outcome is going to look like for you and this person. So stick around. Um, we're going to see what cards want to come through for you at this current time. As always, guys, you know how I like to say this reading is for entertainment only. So it means it's not a personal read. Uh, if you're looking for something more personal, then you would need to book a personal reading. Um, if not with me, with someone that resonates for you. Okay. And of course, by all means, feel free to hit that like button if you enjoyed this reading. That would be greatly appreciated. Okay. For those of you who are tuning into this read, if you're new here on the channel, I'm a Cancerian. So, um... We've got something in common. We've got our watery natures in common. All right, what have we got here? We've got the Ten of Cups, the Four of Cups, the Magician, the Eight of Wands. We're gonna, we're gonna ask Spirit for two more cards. We've got the Star card. Okay, so with the Magician, you could be connecting to an Aries here. With the Star card, you could be connecting to an Aquarius here. I'll take the top one that I see and with the King of Pentacles, strong earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, what have we got here, guys? I do have to say, um, someone is holding on to the hopes of this uh, connection really going through or going ahead with uh, some kind of s stability or commitment. Okay. The Ten of Cups in this spread would um, speak to marriage. Um, it would speak to really seeing you having a, a family with this person, uh, depending where you're at. Okay. Um, if you've already got a family, it would see you doing life with this person. I call the Ten of Cups the doing life card, okay? Seeing you do life with this person. Someone is working really hard here to manifest some kind of a commitment here with you. but they're holding on to this notion or this idea that they can have something um, pretty solid here with you. King of Pentacles, he's pretty, pretty solid. Uh, he doesn't rush. He likes to take his time. He's very wise. Even with the Eight of Wands, uh, this is the green light card. So... For those of you with the Four of Cups who's kind of like unsure, like you're coming in and you're just really unsure of where this person stands in your life. They want to move things forward here with you. They see you as the one. But yet, I'm, I'm getting the sense that there's a block here. What, what's the block? Let's get some clarity on the Four of Cups, please, because I'm getting like there's apprehension here. There's apprehension here. Um, hmm. 
I don't feel like this person wants to let you go. I feel like they're still holding on to the hopes that something good can come of this, but yet they're feeling unsure. This, these three cups on this side could indicate third party situation. Okay, there could be a third party here that is blocking you and this individual from really coming together. Um, let's get some clarity on the Four of Cups, please, Spirit. Ace of Cups in reverse. This person may be afraid that they're going to get hurt or burnt by you. Or maybe it's the other way around, water signs. Maybe you feel like this person's going to hurt or burn you. Let's just get another card. You really think that it's not going to happen. Too many cards. There's, there's this feeling from you water signs that this is not possible. Ace of Cups is in reverse. So you're thinking there's no way. There's no way we can be together. It's not going to happen. Because it's, it's just happening so slowly. Knight of Pentacles, Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This person's taking their sweet time. Um... Maybe things are not moving forward with you and this person right now. I do see communication happening here with the Eight of Wands. I do see this person coming forward wanting to communicate or maybe they're just, they need to travel to come towards you. Let's get some clarity on the Eight of Wands, please, Spirit. Page of Cups in reverse. Water energy, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. I'll just get another card. Eight of Cups in reverse. Yeah, look, I get the sense that um, this person can't stop thinking about you or daydreaming about you here. Oops, this person fantasizes or has high hopes with the Page of Cups in reverse. Um, it could be... I see the Page of Cups in reverse as the card of... Like, making it bigger. Yeah, I don't know how to articulate it. Um, probably because I'm a little bit tired, actually, but... It's like someone's making the story bigger. Um, they're, they're daydreaming or they're painting the picture in an unrealistic way. And I feel like you might be doing that water signs. Eight of Cups in reverse. I, I get the sense that this person doesn't want to let you go. I feel like they're going to be around you for quite some time. Um... I feel that there, something started here between you and this person, but it never really amounted to anything. And it, there's still a lot of emotional investment in this connection. So this person is holding on to the possibility of you guys coming together and doing life. I just, eight of cups, someone returning back, someone coming back. Then they're, they're not walking away. They're not leaving you water signs. If they have stopped talking to you, if they have gone distant, I see this person returning right now. Because they're returning because they're holding on to the hope that things have changed or things could change. They're hoping for a change. Let's get some clarity on the star card. 
What are they holding on to? Justice in reverse. They feel like things were unfair and they want justice, but not in a, like not in a bad way. Um, maybe they feel like they lost out with you and there's maybe some regrets from this. Look at this, Cherry in reverse, the moon, wheel of fortune. Yeah, things never sort of moved moved forward or it was like something was stuck here. They want things to move forward with the Wheel of Fortune. The moon ties you both together, emotions. Let's, let's take a look at this magician because I feel like the outcome of this connection could be that this person wants to manifest something here with you. Look at this, the Emperor. Strong Aries energy. This person knows what they want. They want you. Okay, they're working hard on achieving something here with you. Let's get some clarity on the King of Pentacles. And I feel like what they want with you is um, something solid. Page of Wands in reverse. They want something solid here with you because they haven't had it yet. They haven't got it yet. Page of Wands in reverse. This is future vision. It is in the reverse. It's not in the upright. So it hasn't manifested yet. But they're doing... They want this to turn around. They want that page of wands to turn around. So overall water signs, I feel like the outcome of this connection is going to happen slowly. Okay. Um, it's going to happen slowly because of this situation here. It could be third party. Okay. Um, It could be career. It could be that this person is working hard on building up some kind of empire or business or purpose for themselves. But I have to say they're not they're not letting you go anytime soon. Okay? They're not walking away. I don't see this person walking away. I just see that they're moving very, very slowly here. Which, yeah, I get it. It can be frustrating. Um, but yeah, like with the Ten of Cups, I mean, great, great card to have in your reading because this would indicate that this person wants to do life with you and with the King of Pentacles here and the Magician card and the Eight of Wands, like this is a big sign. These four cards are a big sign that the outcome of this connection is looking positive. So there we have it, guys. That's your reading. Until next time, take care. Bye for now.